What's up, Deanie Weenie? Uh, how's it going? Did you win? Uh, nope. You got two more chances today? Uh, I think one more chance today or two. I'm not sure yet, but I'm really hoping I get it. Well, uh, just for the best. Um, so, um, I didn't like that whole conversation about the MPA shit. It really rubbed me the wrong way, and then Hutch called me after. It's like, oh, well, I don't want to be working a salary, so you guys make money at the top. Um, Leslie and I agree, and I, know, I think you're going to agree as well, like it's a passion project. Why don't we turn the MPA into like an official non-profit and just commit to us never taking the salary out of it? I am 100% for that, hell yeah. All right, I'll get that, I'll get all the paperwork done for that. Now, does, I'm, I'm stupid, uh, it's a very, it might be a very stupid question, but that doesn't, uh, that wouldn't nullify like the rights that we have to everything though, right? No, 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 all it, all it means is the three of us never take a penny out of it. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm all for that, and, hell yeah. Uh, anyone that takes prize money or salary or whatever, just, you know, it, it, we can fund it from the outside or it funds itself. Yeah, I'm totally for that. The three of us never take a penny out of it. Hell yeah, I'm on board, baby, right. let's do it. Get it All right, I love you. Love you. I'm already down 400k, dude. <laughs> oh, I don't give a fuck about any of the money I sank into the NPA. It was all worth it. Those tournaments were were uh, fucking legendary. I don't know why I'm taking the longest way to the NPA, but yeah. Yes! Yes! The fact, too, that radios are sold at stores now as well, Chad's gonna be really pog. All right, let me call Nancy. Hey. Hey, Nancy, uh, you free? Uh, yeah, I was just coming to hit up this meteor, but I can come and meet you right now if you want. Uh, yeah, where are you at? I am up at Humane Labs. Uh, I'm not too far. I'll meet you there. Okay, I am up a mountain right now. Uh, you just want to meet me in the parking lot? Yeah, sounds good. All right, I'll see you there. All right, bye. Better now. Uh, you can buy radios at the tool shop, Afro.
Oof. Uh. The fuck just happened? And did you see that? That's what I'm playing. That's what I'm talking <clears throat> about. The meteor. Yeah, I think I just got struck by it. Are you? I just fell over because of it. Yeah, me too. That was really. Like it just fucking knocked me over. Looks like it landed like right here. You have a metal detector? I do not. No. I have a spare. You want it? Ah, <laughs> no. I'm good. I'm good. Can you actually like see its remains on the ground or what? Oh my god! It's a meteor. It's right here. Look. It's right here. It landed right next to this tree. Wow. You can get like all kinds of shit from this, like gold bars and all that. Yeah, I heard uh, Bjorn made like 20 grand in a day. Yeah, I made a bunch of cash just being around one. How much cash? A uh, couple grand, but only like from a couple items. Like, I know someone who made like 20 grand from one meteor. See, that's a TikTok video, Abby. Picking up stuff. Cause you can get like. Did you find like the uh, the upgraded uh, detector? She did. I just bought one off of her. Hello. Hi. Hey, you? you see where it landed? We want to see it. Uh, the, uh, I know. I know it. It it disintegrates before it actually makes impact. Oh, I wanted to see that. Yeah. So it, you're not actually gonna like see it. Damn. Well, mm -hmm. never mind. Yep. Okay. All right. Hey, Nance, can I talk to you? Alright, so how how you been? How are how are things after the whole fiasco with the cops and shit? We have, I feel like we haven't talked in a while. I know. Uh things are pretty good actually. Um I've been kind of like laying low a little bit. Uh, cause that investigation was a little fucked up, honestly. But they didn't want to do anything. Like they couldn't find anything on me, I was super clean, so there was nothing for them to do. Uh but yeah, it was a bit stressful. But oh, I'm I fucking bad it wise. Yeah, exactly. Um, you hear you hear Bass is the new chief of police? Yeah, I did. I don't think it's considered. That guy's corrupt, twisted, hypocritical, fucking insane man. But uh, with all that being said, I mean, let's be real here. Uh, he's very resilient. He comes on shift mm -hmm. every day, doesn't back down, doesn't complain, doesn't get burnt out, just does his job. Maybe they need a man like that. Maybe they do. So, could yeah, be good. It's. It's just, it's very strange. But yeah, I agree. I think he will actually surprisingly do a good job. It's it's weird. Yeah, me but too. But hey, I, wa I wanted to talk to you about the NPA. That is exactly why I called you. Perfect. Now, I don't know if you uh, know about the changes. I don't know anything about uh, any changes. Now, any member can pick people up now from the ground if they fall over. So let's say you're staying. Like any staff member? Yeah, so if your state ID was one, you would do this. Really? Yep. Uh, the guy has megaphones now, too. Did you know that? Oh, I requested that. I'm so happy that they stocked him up with megaphones. Yeah, so now he's got megaphones in stock. Uh, we can pick people up who get down uh, there. And we're also going to try and uh, get some of the wheels rolling uh, with the arena once the tuner shop is uh, fully built. So I wanted to ask you, you know, where's your head at? You know, how, how are things going? You know, what's uh, you know, what's Mick been up to? Are you still passionate about this? You still want to be involved? You know, give me all the details. So, okay, here's what happened <laughs> since you gave me the CEO role. I hi you and I cleared out a bunch of people from the employment app. I then went on a hiring spree and hired a bunch of people who said that they were really interested and involved and around all the time and passionate. 
Um, it was great for like a week or two, and then they all stopped. Uh, we tried to plan a tournament, and we could only get two teams of people to sign up instead of the usual eight teams. And I had to really? cancel the tournament. How much was yeah. the cash prize for the tournament? It was fifty grand. Damn, and, and nobody wanted to sign up. No, I had the Vagos, and I had Esports United, so like Randy and uh, Curtis and Flippy and stuff, right? Damn. Yeah, right. So here's here's a couple of the issues. One, the the new island, the sister island, kind of opened up, and a lot of people decided to take vacations over to that island. And then co combined with how the train conductor decides to give his tickets out to people now, it was nearly impossible for anybody to guarantee that they could be in the city on a certain day. So if I was saying we're having this massive tournament coming up on Saturday, people were like, well, I'm interested, but like, I don't know if I can make it in. And yeah, as it I turns out, yeah. they couldn't make it in. And so yeah. like to the point where Shelly from Burger Shot, who has always had a team, she couldn't even get a team of people together. So that was really rough. So mm. I went and had a hiring fair down at the farmer's market a couple weeks ago. I offered people jobs. I could only hire three people who were actually interested in doing stuff. Hey, Shelly, we're having a meeting. Fuck off. Love you. Hate you. Talk sucker. Hmm. Um, but I had a hiring fair. I tried to hire more people. Um, again, they just didn't want to do it. I talked to Sherry. Uh, who was one of our really good pickup game hosts, and she said that people just don't want to do it anymore. And the feedback was that people were just like not interested, which is super now, frustrating. Now, do you think it's because of cash prizes? You think it's because they got knocked down, have to wait half an hour to get back up? What do you think it was? I think, I think it's just because of everything that's going on in the city right now. Yeah. They're, nice car, by the way. It's fantastic. Yeah, sorry. I keep talking. Go ahead. I'm just doing something. No, you're good. Um, I think because of everything that's going on in the city, there's just so much that you can do now that paintball is kind of like a fun extra. But most people, it's just like not new and shiny. Like it, a lot of civilians are coming up and like, checking out the meteor and you know going treasure hunting and doing all kinds of stuff but paintball it was really new and exciting for like a couple of months but that excitement has died down and i am yeah. having the hardest time bringing people back into it and i've been trying like i said i did a hiring fair i've been pitching it i'm saying you can make commission i haven't even taken a salary because i feel guilty taking a salary because okay, Nancy, i just haven't been able I'm gonna to do cut anything. you off because I don't want you to repeat yourself. I feel like Dean and Leslie maybe need to be a part of this conversation right now. Mm-hmm. Oh, cause. What's your name, What's going on? Hey, are you still with Dean? Yep. Uh, what are you guys doing right now? Uh, we're at Human Labs escorting uh, Penny and Drea for their metal detecting madness. Oh, perfect. You want to come to the parking lot at Human Labs? I'm here right now with Nancy. Uh... She's kind of just giving me her insight on all the things she's dealt with, all the issues yep. and shit of NPA. Maybe you guys should listen in on this. Yep. 10-4, we're coming. All right. See you in a second. All right. How convenient. They're already here. Perfect. Oh, are they? You, yeah. You got any food on you, uh, Nancy? Yeah, of course. Here you go. Thank you very much. Sorry. Spaced out. No, you're good. Oh, my gosh. Nancy. Uh... Hey! Hello. Hey, I look a little different right now. I'm Drea Croft today. I love it. You look Alright guys, go hunt for that meteor. We just have to have a quick private meeting. Me, Nancy, that. Dean, and Leslie, alright? Spread out! Spread out! Don't keys. fuck it, okay? We won't. Leslie, you've gone soft. What? How am I soft? He loves us. I don't do that. He doesn't do love, but he does do... Whatever. Give me cheese, give me I'll give you keys. I'll give you keys. Sorry, sorry. Hold on. Hold. Please hold. Hey, Stag. I gotta call you back in a meeting. All right. Uh, okay. All right, Nancy. From the top. Uh, I just feel like maybe NBA. you guys should be a part of this conversation. Speedball. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
I became the CEO. Uh, I went and then hired a bunch of people for paintball. It was good for about a week or two, and then people stopped showing up and stopped wanting to participate in the games. Uh, we then did a $50,000 tournament, and I could only get two teams to sign up, and they were excited about it, but I couldn't fill the other six slots. A combination of the sister city that opened up and the way that the conductor is passing out train tickets made it impossible for people to guarantee that they were going to be in the city, meaning I couldn't throw massive tournaments like we were doing before. I couldn't even throw small tournaments. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's sorry, Nancy. I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry for the rudeness. I saw that. You, you said about the, uh, the money, you, the, the tournament. Go back to that part. Uh, we were throwing $50,000 tournaments. Previously, we were throwing $100,000 tournaments, but we were not making any money off of them. So I slightly mm -hmm. lowered the prize Yeah, I wouldn't broke back in the 40, pretty much, yeah. Exactly. So we slightly lowered the prize amount, but upped the rest of it just to make sure that, you know, we were making some semblance of money because that's what I'm trying to do for you is to try to make you money. Uh, I hired a bunch of people again. I had a hiring fair just the other day to bring in new people to do pickup games and... I spoke to them and they said the interest in the city is just not what it was. It's not shiny and new and they're just not interested anymore because there's so many new activities in the city for civilians, such as hunting meteors and treasure hunting and stuff like that. A lot of them have been taking to that instead of doing stuff like paintball. And I mean, getting teams together, like Burger Shot couldn't even get a team together and they were always very, very consistent. I changed the dollar amounts. I changed the structure of it. I, I did so much to try to make it happen. And part of it was frozen paintballs. Part of it was not having megaphones. I've heard the changes with that, which is fantastic. But I'm doing, I'm doing so much to try to make this happen. And it's just been, it's not shiny. It's not new. People just don't seem interested like they once were. Right. Um, okay. So these are the issues that you have. Do you have any... Uh... Sorry, let me rephrase. Uh, I understand these are the issues, and I'm not surprised that these are the issues. I think mm -hmm. uh, one of the assessments that we could do is if Dean Wang and I spend more time with the business for a temporary amount of time, it might spark a little bit more interest. That's usually how these type of things goes, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. uh, on top of that, automating part of the business might help a little bit, maybe, what you were talking about, Lane? Yeah, I think I think the biggest issue would be, so NPA, the idea is for fun, right? Uh, it's, and the right. idea is to attract, like, you know, people in the city looking for something to do, they're new, they're not involved in months and shit. So it's kind of like the struggle of saying, hey, there's a there's this, you know, two hundred thousand dollar tournament on Saturday. Do you want to sign up? And the guy you're talking to doesn't know if you'll be in the city for you know another two weeks. Right. Exactly. He, he was lucky to get in. Yeah. And also, I think a lot of people, especially right now, are really focused on making money and not sadly not having fun. Whereas before, people were kind of comfortable with where they were at and they were you know able to buy cars and stuff. But now that they're wanting to make money to save up for houses or save up for nicer cars. They're kind of saying, fuck the having fun. I'm just going to work. Yeah. And that is also really, really difficult. And that's not just NPA, just so you're aware, because we have done uh, events with my other companies. And unless they are just like small events, like big scale events seem to be completely on the decrease. Yeah, and to give some background, uh, uh, all the uh, events that, all the really big events that we held that were held at uh, the horse race track. I don't know if you guys have been to them. The big ones that were actually a lot of fun. Uh, it was hosted mm -hmm. by Nancy and then Mick. Right. And no, Richard Chicklets, yeah. And Chicklets, I'm yeah. aware of what you're saying, and, and I, I, I know <coughs> that you're right. You are fundamentally correct in this. Mm -hmm. I think uh, part of the reason why people are saving up is because of the copium regarding the tuna shop that's been going around for a couple of, of, of mm -hmm. what, months, weeks now. People are just saving. They don't want to waste the money on anything in case it comes out tomorrow, you know? Right. Obviously, that's not the sole reason, but it is one of the reasons. I've heard a lot of people discussing that. Definitely. Yes, yes. I think that is the main reason for sure. Um, however, I don't. It's 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 difficult. It very it's very difficult to assess this whole situation. I think um, 
having small games might help. I don't, I don't know. I mean, the thing is, it sounds to me like you've tried everything, everything that we can do at this time without adding in every anything new to the business, right? Right. And unfortunately, I don't have the capacity to be the one on the ground running the pickup games. And as the CEO, I don't think that's expected of me. Uh, but I have gone and hired people who have said, I'm interested, I'm available, I'm passionate. And even they're getting burnt out because with the advertising that they're doing, they're just unable to get people invested and interested and even showing up. So I don't yeah. know if we need to do something with marketing or I know that I, I can let you in on this. I'm one of the partners in Life Invader and we're hoping to bring out like an events calendar at some point. Mm -hmm. And so maybe with the introduction of the events calendar, it will be easier to promote bigger scale events like this again, because right now it's just advertising on Twitter and that's pretty much impossible to actually have any sort of traction for events. Right. But I, it's, it's just really, really tough. Another thing that was brought up by one of the hosts who was really passionate and fantastic before people weren't showing up was that they have all gotten very used to the course and because it hasn't been changed, it doesn't feel exciting to them anymore. Right, right, right. So I don't know if there's a ability for a crew to come in and maybe change it up a little bit. But maybe the arena will change stuff as well. Like I know Lang was talking about the arena opening up. I don't know how far down the road that is, but oh, that's gonna be just it happens when it happens. You know, you're gonna wake up one day exactly. and it's it's right around the corner, right? But that could be months, weeks, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know the, the the construction workers are very very busy, right? So now Absolutely. what we can do is just sink a lot of money into the tournaments, right? And then hopefully that uh, gauges yeah, interest. Yeah, I was thinking maybe we could just put like big prize pools up, right? Put a big uh, big like ass prize pools, pools, right? You can put like two hundred k on. That's nothing, man. Right? Yeah, that's I mean, not yeah, but, then, the, but then we spike it for one tournament, and then how, how many times can we do that? Is my concern. Now, another idea would be, um, I'm trying to think here, like something that is like an added benefit, almost. I don't know, so, like you, if you think like racing and like G and E or like. Uh, I was gonna say, is there any way to give G and E out as a prize? No, I don't want G and E anywhere near. Uh, paintballing that's the racer shit you know what i mean that's okay. it's their own Fair little enough. uh it's their own thing they've worked on right um but, could, but, but just an example you know what i mean from like a merch shop based on currency you get from get from paintballing something like that is what you're saying no yeah something like that to give people like incentive like oh i gotta do this to get this that i really want or some shit right what if okay no that's too crazy I'm trying to, I'm trying to think like maybe not necessarily make it like some people need to survive in the city, but it, like a cool want, right? Mm -hmm. But that would require like just a lot of thinking. Maybe I'm not sure. I was working with <coughs> X, X coin. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, what about X coin, Leslie? I didn't say X coin. It's almost X coin. No, it was the wind. I think I heard the just in passing. What if, what if we sell metal? What? Sorry. What if we sell metal detectors for the meteors on currency that you get from winning tournaments at the paintball? You're so dumb, Misty. <laughs> well, I think what we do is it's amazing. Leslie hasn't gone broke. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, it is. I'm not going to say anything. I mean, what do you think about just juicing up tournaments? Leslie, you think that'll work? Uh, I, I think it will. But uh, the question is how long we can sustain it at a $200,000 rate. At 50000 sure, we can probably host like six to eight tournaments. I'm but at even... $200,000, that's it's a bit steep, no? Well, I mean, we can do like mini seasons, though. Right? We can do like what the racers are doing with their fucking midnight chub. We can just do mini heats and then the winners go for like a big 200, 200k grand prize or something. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm thinking as well. Hmm. I'm not sure that it's a money concern. I really do think it's a uh, people aren't sure if they're going to be in the city and it's just not appealing anymore. Hmm. And that's my biggest concern because like the money, we can find the money clearly between the three of you. It's more that it was a very exciting new thing that the city had 
and now people have like moved on to, you know, everyone has ACDC in the city. And so now they're moving on to the next big, exciting thing. Mm. And that's my right. concern is that it's not the shiny fun thing. It was a couple months ago. Uh, I, I don't think you're wrong. I think we should try what Dean was saying. Mm -hmm. Kind of the heat thing and, and building up to tournament and we'll, we'll, we'll pull in two, 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 two fifty, three hundred thousand dollars, something like that. Okay. Let's do a $250,000 tournament. I think. Okay. Uh, yeah. Cerberus will I'm cover the, the prize pool. Um, and then we'll just see the interest from that. And then maybe show people that, you know, now if you get knocked out, you're not going to wait half an hour to get, back, what about get this? back up anymore. And there's radios now you can purchase from the tool shop. There's things to make it way, you know, easier to enjoy, right? Mm -hmm. What if we do the $250,000 tournaments? But if you if you show up and, and spectate the tournament, you also have a chance of winning money. Like a raffle? Yeah. So the people, we get, all, we get a lot of hype from people actually showing up and not even playing as well. Okay, so maybe we'll do a $200,000 tournament and then a $50,000 raffle. Yeah. Yeah. For uh, spectators. I think that will be good. What do you think, Dean? Yeah. Now... Uh, okay. The other concern is how... So... Last time it was, wasn't it kind of a landslide between two teams? Yes. Yeah. Uh, team Esports United and Team Vagos. Yeah, Esports okay. United pretty much dominate every tournament, which is kind of cool to see. That. Yeah, they are very much the top team. I and mean, I kind of like but, it. But I, I kind of like yeah. that there's a top team. I, I don't know. I, I do I do too, but if we're going to keep people interested, it's going to be demotivating. If we do one more, like, it's it's what, the second big tournament, and it's if that team is in again, and the same We can just do a draft then. Uh, take single people sign-ups, right? Like, hey, yeah. you want to play? Like, okay, sign up as a single person, That's show up, and then uh, we pick team captains, and then just pick people off a draft. I like that. That way, it feels like they constructed their own team from my, you know, pool players that show up, right? Mm. Mm. I, I like worry. That. I worry from an organizational standpoint that that is going to be absolute hell. As as somebody who has run a few of these tournaments, it's already difficult enough to get people okay, so to just I, show up. I trust you, and I I I think you're 100 percent right. But do you have any other suggestion on how we can make it more balanced and motivating for other people that are not as good? Not really. I mean, the team who came in second last time was called Grinders in Pajamas, and they've never even come back to the city to claim their twenty thousand dollar prize. So hey, we're up on that. Jesus. At least. Yeah, I I reached out to them for ages and they just never responded. So, hey, we got a free 20K. Um, the thing about Team Esports United is they are the most passionate and they were the ones who were like talking about it on Twitter. And, yeah, they fucking you know, loved telling it. Every, they loved it and they were <laughs> sad that I had to cancel the previous tournament. Mm. And so yeah, listen, I would I'm not, I'm not to trying to, to cut anybody out or be a dick to anybody. I'm just. Oh, no, of course not. I understand that. Yeah. Would we be uh, able to get something on the betting app? Dean? I think Dean uh, yeah, yeah, would do that, right? I'm not, I'm not sure, yeah. Because that would be, I think, really fun to have spectators bet on the... Wing back? Yeah, definitely that would bring back some excitement. Yeah, betting on it. Yeah, li having live betting. All right, tell you what, Anthony. Here's what we'll do. Let's put together a $200,000 tournament. $50,000 okay. raffle for spectators. Uh, we'll it. have it on the betting app. We'll okay. just do everything you did before. Uh, normally, now that we have the megaphones, you know, obviously the radios, we can even have, uh, you know, a shoutcaster, have everybody get on one channel that's spectating. Obviously, the teams can have their own uh, radio channels. We advertise, we pump, and we just see what happens. And then assessing the data from this tournament, we move forward and try to improve. Okay. Now, in terms of, uh, you know, Mick and a, a team you have behind you, you still have a team? Have they all disappeared? Or what's going on in that regard? They have essentially disappeared. Uh, Mick wanted to step away from the NPA. So I can ask if he will come back and showcast for the day. If not, I can try to find someone else. Uh, and I'll try to assemble a team. I know Drea is great with event planning, and I actually spoke to her about perhaps coming on board to help with this sort of thing. So if she's available. It's actually funny. I hired a bunch of people, and they were really, really good about running games. And then the next week, they all started working at Rooster's Rest and never hosted a pickup game ever again. 
Um, yeah, yeah. So you you stole your own staff. Yeah, I noticed that trend too. They uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I can yeah I can try to find a new team of people. It's gonna take probably a, like a couple weeks, honestly, to get all of this together because I want it to not be thrown together. I want it to be really, really good. And I want to reignite the excitement in the NPA, but it is just really difficult. I think we keep the tournaments to the weekends because everyone's yeah. drinking or have a good time, wants to chill and have fun. Uh, how mm -hmm. about next Friday? Is that too short? Um, let's see. One second. Next. Like almost two weeks. Yeah, so pretty much two weeks from now. I think we could probably do that. Yeah, so let's do it for next Friday. Uh, get a bunch of uh, advertisements uh, drawn up. Kind of just advertise it throughout this week. Uh, take registrations from teams. Uh, but don't f don't worry about forcing registration too much. Because the best way to do it is the day of where people are actually around. But obviously, if there's people who know they'll be around and they want to participate and they want to sign up with their team, they're more than welcome to do so as well. Do you... Wait, is, are, is VLC on Fridays? Uh, I have Fight no idea. I'm never going to any of those events ever again. So, okay. This Friday, it's uh, different though. I don't know if you know where it's. I'm not sure. Maybe we should do it on a. I Saturday? don't think it's Fight Night Friday, but there is an event Friday. I mean, there's an event Thursday. Okay, so let's do it next Saturday then. Okay. So okay. next Saturday, two hundred thousand dollar MPA tournament, fifty thousand dollar raffle. And then, who do I speak to, Dean? I guess that's you for the uh, live bet. Yeah, Dean will set it up I on the books. I can probably just add you into the company, and then you can just add all that shit you in. Oh, perfect. That'd be really cool. Okay, cool. All right, perfect. And then, uh, are you just going to drop a bunch of money into the account? Yeah, we'll drop it onto the account, and then you can also uh, bring in Drea in on this. I'm sure she'd love to help you plan it. And then uh, we just go from there and see what happens. Okay. And then, Leia, like I said, since I became CEO, I haven't taken a salary from any of this because I felt like I hadn't done enough for you guys. So oh, hopefully... we got great news on that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're now a non-profit. Great. Thanks, Dean. Yeah, we are officially a non-profit for the NPA, but we'll still uh, pay you a salary. Don't worry about that. How much are you getting paid? Uh, nothing right now. I was getting what? paid per tournament, and I yeah, have How much money do you have in your uh, bank? I cut her checks for the tournaments, Leslie, all right? All right I, listen, you don't have to feel like a tiny man, Wayne. It's okay. How much money do you have in your bank? Me? Yes. Uh, not a ton. How much is not a ton? $121,000. Okay. We'll do this. Um, text my number, your bank account, and I will wire you $100,000 to, uh, to alleviate your work effort, okay? Yeah, I'll check. Thank I'll check out fifty grand on top of that. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, okay, let me see one of my comics. Thank you very, very much. That means a lot to me. That's all right. Hey, what happened? Uh, me Nothing. and Leslie were flexing how rich we were, Dean, and you didn't step in. So does that mean you're I wasn't poor, flexing? Or? Okay, she deserves money. That's all. Are you poor, Dean, or are you gonna, you know, help us juice up this salary here we just offered, or what? What's going on here? What was promised? Uh, Dean, Leslie's throwing in a hundred. I'm throwing in fifty. For what? To pay Nancy for all the effort and alleviate all the stress. I'll give you twenty bucks. My right, Dean is poor. Confirm. Oh, I already had your number. Oh, perfect. Yeah, just text me your uh, your state ID to Nancy. And then, okay, that's same for next Saturday, okay? And we can yeah, start all the advertising sounds... this uh, this week. Like I said, take registrations for teams that want it, but don't I go out and try to force it on. Not force it, but don't you don't have to worry about getting teams uh, signed Come up. Back, please. We focus on doing that the day of when people are actually around. Okay. I will have my graphic designer work on a poster this right, afternoon. Here. I will start hyping it up again. Yeah. Okay. All right. Perfect. Hell yeah. Let's fucking do it. Thank you so much. And I then, really, really appreciate it. And then, that. like I said, from there, uh, we'll be able to see, you know, the current issues, you know, real time and be able to assess What's that data doing? better and then go from there in okay. terms of improvement. Okay, great. great. I and then, uh, I'm sure Drea, too, will have a bunch of ideas, too, to help out. So 
Drea, yeah, I want you in on this. Hey, uh, what is Drea. it? What is it? It's what I spoke to you about. Two hundred thousand dollar NPA tournament next Saturday. Tournament Fifty thousand dollar raffle yes, for spectators. Yes, yes, yes. Help I Nancy with everything it. she needs. I okay. I will help you absolutely, no. Nancy. Just let me know. All right, perfect. Fantastic. Thank you. I, I'm I am excited about it. I am super excited. Okay, hell yeah. Let's go. Let's Guys, do it. I've been uh, holding the shit in for like an hour. I'm gonna go take a shit back here. Okay, thank you. Just seemed like you didn't care. So. Hey Penny, Penny, you called me. I know, but I really got a uh, shit. All right, I call you. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> yes, please call me. Yeah. Hey Dean, um, Leslie, you guys good? Uh, yeah, we good, we good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna head to your apartments. Right, I'm gonna give you a comms. Gonna shit, and I'm down to chill. All right. Uh, I'm gonna.